Parental guidance is recommended for the following program. Viewer discretion is advised because of strong sexual content. Centuries ago, the Spaniards came to Jamaica in search of gold. They ravaged the indigenous Taino population and brought Africans to work the land. Among them was the African princess Nzinga, who refused to be enslaved. She ran away and met the last of the Tainos, who gave her their most prized possession, the golden nugget. Nzinga had the power to change shape and hit the nugget in a river. Today, she has finally emerged with the golden nugget. Golden Nugget contestants vie for the 2004 Kia Rio valued at over $1.3 million. Airline tickets from Air Jamaica, tickets from Air Jamaica Express, gift vouchers from Antillian Sports, gift baskets from Grace, gift vouchers from Locker Room Sports, distributors of Calme, weekends for two at the Sunset Beach Resort and Spa, the home of the Golden Nugget. Everybody on the last episode of the Golden Nugget. I got this gift for Nick. Team Six is truly presented her partner, Nicardo, with a gift. Her way of showing me that she appreciates what I'm doing is by giving me um, a bracelet, you know, and a, a lovely t-shirt. I don't see how that benefited everybody. It's not everybody did jump up and buy the gift for Nicardo. You understand? It had nothing to do with anybody. In my opinion, her giving him the present because they are somewhat involved in an intimate way. Love seems to be infectious. It appears things may have developed between Team 1's Tanish and Team 7's Ethan. She has some sex appeal and that is what I go after, you know? She kind of bouncy and a little bit the shyness, I would more call it reserve. And I kind of attracted to the kind of more reserved lady. Ethan is my friend. He's a very good guy. That's why I kiss him. Romance may be running rampant, but things quickly sour that night when Team 8's Tamika gets drunk. It's because I was drinking red and white wine and it really got to my head. I don't know what happened after that. This causes a negative domino effect amongst all contestants and buried emotions come to the surface. Tamiko started throwing up. Then we took her into the bathroom. JJ decided to take over everything. Drink it, swallow it, swallow. But then she started arguing and saying that she can't understand what kind of roommate I am because I'm not taking care of Tamika. So I said to her, don't touch her. Give the key to me. I said she may have to find the key herself. I didn't deny them for a while. I denied them the whole night. I behaved badly in a verbal way. it was to squeeze some sense into her. I didn't say anything actually. 
but I was really upset about the whole situation because I said I shouldn't get myself involved in that. We are not the governor. I felt disappointed in her because she should have known better not to mix alcohol and drink it on an, on an empty stomach. There will be no more drunken nights for me. Team 3's Andre and Lori and Team 1's Duane and Tanish are at the bottom again by far. With just a one point difference between the two teams, either one could be going home at the end of this episode. When it comes to the challenge, if, if, if we have something to do, we just do it and get over with it. You know what I mean? Because the more you think about it, it makes you kind of weak still. Team 1 were the prize winners in episode 2, but the lack of teamwork and deteriorating team spirit has caused them to consistently do badly in challenges. The survival of this team hinges on Tanish. Duane cannot do it alone. I was very confident about Tanish at first. Okay. Until she started um, giving some bad vibes and just be a bad thing start happening. So when I really know I still hope it change. She has to approve herself to me today. Tanisha's effort level could mean the difference between either team going home. I talked to Russ and Russ and talked to her so, so everything kind of seems alright again. We're actually waiting for stay longer now. Russ, Ethan. Yeah, man, Ethan. Yeah, Ethan. So, she's waiting for stay a little longer. Bit. The nearly 300 year old Belfield Great House is nestled in the rolling terrains of St. James Barnet Estate. The Great House, which is Great house, and welcome to another episode of the Golden Nugget. How you feeling? Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Definitely. Now, before we go to this challenge, let's take a look at the scores from the last episode. Are you guys ready for your challenge? Yeah! All right. Well, this one is a very physical challenge. The name of this challenge is Painting Basics. Now, behind me, there's a sign. You're going to run to the sign from the starting point. Follow the instructions on the sign. When you're finished following the instructions on this sign, you're going to run around the house. There's another sign back there. When you get to the sign, follow the instructions. There's another sign somewhere over there. The third sign, and you're going to read that sign as well and follow the instructions. First person to get back here wins.
We rush for me the pan for go use the bathroom this morning, yeah. you know. And that's why mm. it burst. Me pull it down with such a hard force. Oh. When she see a panty burst, I'm say, yeah, so I. She said, no, she not so I. But you see, true me in the habit of not wearing drawers sometimes. That's why I didn't have a problem putting it on back. You see them look a stringy stringy drawers, them for ban. It's better to go back to the traditional bingo business. Cause <laughs> <laughs> string will pop. String will pop. You see it. Alright, did you enjoy that challenge? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Well we have the point standings for the paint the basics competition. In first place, we have group number three, Andre and Lori, with ten nuggets. Yeah. 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 In second place, we have group number four, Carlton and Samantha, yeah. with nine nuggets. Yes. Woo. In third place, we have group number one, Dwayne and Tanish, with eight nuggets. Yeah. Now, two groups have been disqualified for not following the signs correctly. These groups are group number two, Bruce and Luan, and group number five, Levar and Betty. All right, so this is the end of the Paint the Basics Challenge. Your next challenge is coming up in a few. Due to their disqualification in the Paint the Basics Challenge, Team 5's LeVar and Betty have found themselves tied with Team 3 in the second to last spot. Team 1 is still last, but with only a three point difference, it's anyone's bet who will go home. I'm not really one bit worried about it because I'm not going home today. The next challenge, I am going to be on top. Welcome, welcome to your second challenge of the day and of the episode. Now after this challenge, someone will be going home. Alright, now I want you all to check your digital phones for your challenge. And the name of your challenge is Just Bones. Listen to the instructions carefully because there are no signs. Listen. Now hidden in this brush, hidden in this general area, something to eat. Now what you are to do is crawl on all fours and find this item. One partner is going to be a dog, one partner is going to be a cat. You can only carry back one object per group. If there is, some, there is something to eat in some of them, not all of them. It's in foil paper. You're gonna take it back to the judges and the judges will instruct you on what to do after that. If it is that you come back with something that it's not edible, you're gonna have to go back on all fours and search again. You can only communicate through meowing and barking. So decide who will be the dog and who will be the cat, but you cannot speak to each other and you cannot, you cannot at any time at all get up from all fours. Now if at any point, you get up for any reason, you're disqualified. Understood? Remember to stay on all fours! Teams must find an entire rotisserie chicken wrapped in foil. Story. Some teams have been fooled by the large stones cleverly wrapped in towels and foil. Hey, hey. Go, 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 go. Nicardo broke a rule by speaking and has therefore disqualified Team 6 from the challenge. Woof, 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 woof. Well. Now that the teams have found the chickens, they must eat everything till it's just bones.
without any liquid to wash it down, our team struggled to complete the challenge. Lori and Andre have performed yet another miracle. They have dominated today by coming first in both challenges. They will not go home today. I was afraid at first because I know we don't do well on finding, finding so stuff. Right. Team 5 and Team 1 are still on the chopping block. With a three point difference, it could go either way. Tanish must pull her weight if Team 1 has any chance of survival. Ah. Team 5 is struggling to consume the chicken. Their mouths are dry and it's become hard to swallow. Take your muscle, baby. If Team 1 completes this challenge and Team 5 are unable to, then Levar and Betty will be the third couple to be kicked from the golden nugget. Time is running out. The Golden Nugget will be right back. <laughs> Alright, did you enjoy that challenge? Are your tummies full? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, alright, well I have the scores for the Just Bones Challenge. In first place, group number three, Andre and Laurie with yeah. ten nuggets. Yeah. <laughs> In second place, we have group number four, Carlton and Samantha with nine nuggets. In third place, we have group number two, Bruce and Luan with eight nuggets. Okay, some people did not complete the challenge. Now, disqualified for talking was group number six, Nicardo and Trudy. So that's the scores for this challenge. This season's Golden Nugget contestants buy for the 2004 Kia Rio valued at over $1.3 million. Airline tickets from Air Jamaica, tickets from Air Jamaica Express, gift vouchers from Antillian Sports, gift baskets from Grace, gift vouchers from Locker Room Sports, distributors of Calme, weekends for two at the Sunset Beach Resort and Spa, the home of the Golden Nugget. I'm going to give the final scores overall for the last two episodes. Now, somebody will be going home. And somebody will be winning $10,000 from Locker Room Sports. All right? The person in first place overall for the last two episodes is group number four, Carlton and Samantha with 32 nuggets. 32 nuggets. I want to invite you up here to rub the nuggets again. for some good luck. Again. 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 What do you mean, my friends? Again. What do you mean? Give them a round of applause. What do you mean? Yeah, I think give them a round of applause. The persons who will be going home is group number one, Duane and Tanish with 12 nuggets. They will be getting a $5,000 gift basket from Grace. You have been eliminated from the Golden Nugget. It was good having you here. Thanks for joining us. Each time a, 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 a challenge is gone, I rotate it and make the team then switch up. 
because I can't stand one dumb people for like three. You look like, well, you get the dumb, well, well, you get dummy and dummy and what dummy because you to come to go over to the Let's look at the person so you were looking out for. Let's look at the person you were looking out for yeah. in the car and can drive you around. You know, you know, one challenge and I, and I look out for your boyfriend with the next team. Look out for yourself and your teammate. Please. See, you just come, come on TV, that's the whole point of you coming here. I came here to win. Oh, really? That's the whole point. Listen to me, I come here for the fun of it. To you, not to win the car. You understand? You really, uh, you, you, are, you, are, you really need to buy a lot of opportunity to get something and you really Well, if you wanted to win, you would have to go for the man, watch you can and name it. I told yeah, you, say, if they give me nothing Let's for eat, me now go eat it. You want the car so you eat it. And it's not because you from the beginning you wanted to go and the one point in you're going home. The one point is you're going home and your life will go hard the same way without the car. That's the one. Feel art now? You're not going. You're not getting a car. You're not getting a car. Yes, because of me and I'm so glad. From the first challenge, you know, the girl call her and I say, yo, pick me from medium mix. That means that she never have no intention of helping them out in the last part. You understand what I'm saying? Them end up with points, you know. If she did just pull through it at the last part, the man that encouraged the girl, you know. <laughs> it's just that he always tell me certain things about his life and what he's been through and, you know, I just felt it for him. Well, <laughs> Maybe that. That was an emotional breakdown. I tell them that we don't get too emotional over such situation, especially concerning an ex-man. You know, man have to hold his own. I was calling Ethan at the same time that I was on my way to Tanish's room. When they opened the door, Tanish came out first in her towel, and then I saw Ethan coming out of the bathroom. She had on her towel and thing and I was going to use the bathroom. No. The driver said, I'm going to go home. I'm going to come back to go and go home. What was happening in there, I don't know. I care not to. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yes, yes. 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 Within five minutes, my drive off. Well, to all my former competitors of the Golden Nuggets, I just want to wish you a good luck and may you achieve your goals in the future. And if you try your best, I know you'll be the one to win. So just go out there and do this. I had some awful experience and some good ones, and I had a lot of fun. And I'm glad that I was chosen. Golden Nugget. Now the name of this challenge is Costume Parade. Come on with the pants, quick. End the pants. Come now. We're not busy where you get. Come. Mission Impossible. Nicole and I got had an extra in the form of Judy. And in the corner here. <laughs> Whatever happens with Nicole and myself is our business. If there wasn't a girl at home, yeah, I would talk to Judy. We came close of getting kicked, yes, I could understand that, but at the same time, I had my... Thank <laughs> you.